Hi guys, just wanted to uh, go through a couple of couple of points which I came across uh, researching uh, lots of chemtrail information. I got sidetracked on the Morgellons disease and the relationship to chemtrails. And what I found is the fibres that are coming out of the Morgellons victims are very similar to those of chemtrails. I then also came across uh, a range of patents and the patents seem to show a range of uh, uh, ways to produce efficiently uh, these polymer fibres which are coming out from the sky. Now, another thing that's also come from uh, Morgellon sufferers are these uh, little nanobots. We have fibres from the chemtrails which are very similar to what's being found in Morgellons uh, sufferers. The blue polymer fibres and the other colours that are coming out of their skin. Um, we also have these uh, nanobots or some kind of nanotechnology uh, associated with the Morgellon sufferers which is uh, coming uh, through their lesions. Is it possible that uh, these nanobots are a most efficient way of producing uh, the nanofibers which are used in the chemtrails because they'd have to use masses of it um, for the amount of spraying that they're doing and, the, uh, and they've either accidentally or purposely released these nanobots uh, onto an unsuspecting population um, and hence we've got this uh, Morgellons disease uh, and now it's just running rampant. Your comments and uh, input would be uh, more than welcome. Um, I'd like to know what you all think about this.